The latest news in town is that the IHS fee has been scraped off by the UK government. It means that if you're a health worker, you don't need to pay IHS fees again. And this is the latest and good news that all health workers wishing to migrate to the UK or already in the UK should know. Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscription button down below and click on the notification bell so that anytime I make future videos, be the first person to be able to see it today i'm super excited because of the good news i gave you from the beginning of the video and as you can see from the topic of the video i'm going to talk about the entire cost for a nurse or a midwife planning to migrate to the uk as an overseas nurse and guys it's worth noting that it's good to invest this money because you are going to get a whole lot of benefits at the end of the day and some of these monies are going to be refunded by employers that means if you are eligible and if you are picked for the job, the employer is likely to, re re to refund most of your monies back to you, if not all. For instance, the IELTS or the OAT exam fees are refunded in most cases. The CBT exam fee is also refunded. Some book your ticket and your visas for you, so there is no cost for alarm. And you don't need to get all these monies at a go before you start the process. Because it's a step-by-step -step approach, any money that you get, you can do one step at a time. So let's get started. So the first money you have to look for is the money for your English test of competence. Because of course, if you are migrating as an overseas nurse, as I said in my previous videos, you need to get an English test of competence exams to show that you can fully and effectively communicate in the English language. And you need either the IELTS or the OET, which I've explained in separate videos. So if you don't know about it, you can go into my playlist and check it out. So if you are writing the IELTS, as I said, the IELTS is a bit cheaper. It is £180, so you can change it into your local currency to know the actual price. If you are writing OET, I told you OET is about twice the price of IELTS. So OET is £380 or £587 Australian dollars. That is OET, but it has value for money. So if you are writing OET, it's not a promise, but the, fill, the, the passing rate is really high in OET as compared to IELTS, so it has value for money. So IELTS is £180, OET is £315. And if you need an expert tutor for OET, just hook up in my email, send me an email, and I'll connect you to this lecturer. The next thing is to, of course, pay for your NMC registration. So you pay £140 to the NMC of UK to be able to register or for your portal to be opened. After paying your £140, you pay your £83 for your CBT exam. It used to be 90 but now it has reduced to £83. So you go to the Pearson's New Center, you pay this money, or you can pay with your visa card online, and you go and sit for the exams. After that, you go to your mother regulatory body in your home country, and you pay for a verification of your license. I don't know for other countries, but in Ghana, it is 550 Ghana cities. So you pay this money, and they are going to forward the document to the NMC of UK. After that, and after you've written your CBT, you pay an additional £153 to the NMC of UK again to continue with your registration process. So initially, you pay £140, you go and pay £83 for the CBT, you go to your mother regulatory body and pay your money in Ghana, it is 550 CDs, and then you go to the NMC UK again and pay £150 to the NMC of UK. So after doing this, the next thing is to look for your employer. If you've been following my um, UK process videos, you look for an employer. And after you've got an employer, before you get your visa, you have to do a tuberculosis test. And I'm doing a separate video on that, but I'm just mentioning the price of the test. It's $120 as it stands now. It may increase or decrease based on some changes, but as it stands now, it is $120. So you can change it to your local currency. And this certificate is valid for six months. So you have to do it after you've gotten an employer in the uk and when you are really ready to move to the uk because the validity is only for six months and it's likely to expire before you move so it's very good to do it after you've gotten an employer the next thing is your visa fee and your ticket fee most of the times if you are going through an agent they pay the cost for your entire visa fee 
for your IHS fee. As I started, I talked about IHS fee. And this fee used to be 600 pounds per year. And you were supposed to have paid for three years, which is $1,800 to be able to move to the UK. And even if you're already in the UK, you need to pay this money anytime you're going to renew your resident visa or your resident permit in the UK. But now, the good news is the government of UK and the Prime Minister has decided to slash this fee for NHS or healthcare workers. And this is good news. So now the path is not so clear. We are still waiting for feedback from them. But as it stands now, you are no more going to pay your IHS fee. So you can just pay for your visa fee, you book your ticket, and you are in the UK. This is good news. There is something I didn't add, that is the police certificate. It varies from country to country. In Ghana, it is 100 cities. And you need a certificate as part of your NMC UK registration process and your birth set and other things, which I wouldn't mention because they are basic things you should have. Apart from this, the money you need are what I have mentioned. And you don't need all this money at a go to be able to start your process. You can just look for your IELTS fee and start writing your IELTS. After the IELTS, you look for your NMC UK registration fee or CBT fee and so on and so forth. If you are going on your own or if you are doing a direct employment, then you are going to pay for your visa and your ticket on your own. But most of the times it's going to be refunded by your employer when you get to the UK. That is good news. They are going to refund your money back to you after you've gotten to the UK. But if you don't have money to do all this, you can go through an agent who will absorb this cost, your visa, your ticket and everything. And when you get there, you can work peacefully, safely and effectively. I wish you all the very best in your transition over to the UK. I'm trying to put up other videos for you and I know you are going to very like, share, subscribe, click on the subscription button, share this video with your friends, give it a thumbs up if you think it's okay, leave a comment in the comment section below so that I know your thoughts. If you have any video you want me to talk about, you can send me an email or you can comment in the comment section down below. I'll work on them and do them for you. Your wish is my command. I wish you all the very best. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.